Now listen, Jamie Foxx got himself into a little uh, pickle yeah. after a tirade on his radio show where he advised wholesome Disney star Miley Cyrus to make a sex tape and grow up. Do some heroin, be a lesbian, and put some crack in your pipe. <laughs> he has since apologized, saying he was just being a comedian. <laughs> I saw, I was up, I'm never up that late, but I was up last night and he was on Jay Leno. Right. And he used an excuse that Howard Joy Behar sometimes uses. I'm just a comedian. Well, I'm just a comedian. But then he really did apologize profusely mm -hmm. and, and said, you know, I say things and, and uh, you know, I, my program is like Howard Stern's. And, and he was very sincere. Oh, in his what he said that was, what did he say, really? He was kidding. Well, at first he made fun he of her gums. Kidding. He said she needed that gum surgery. To make yeah. fun of someone's looks. Like radio. Thing. You know when you're on the radio, Barbara, right. you know it's a lot of Listen, people. Sometimes you say things. I have a radio show also on Sirius, which Bill get excuse me, which Bill Getty and I do. <laughs> and we say things on that about us. that I don't, about, uh, that I don't, Say here, and then when you, I read about it, I, you yourself. tend not to think about yeah, it. You don't think about it. But I, 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 I know, you know what I do when they say something to me? I say I'm a comedian. Uh, <laughs> but I think with, I think with, with Jamie, with Joy, with us, you know, we, we say things we, we, you know, we don't mean it. You know, Jamie, he's got a good heart. He's got a daughter, Corinne, yeah. who's the same age as, as Miley. And he did say, I have a daughter. I'm going to yes. apologize. But I think um, I think that kids should be off limits. Sure. I really do. The girl, she's 16 years old. So I think that we. She's dating a 20 year old. Said, well, I know. That, but that's still, that story. doesn't make her still less I think of a child. Can I speak for the comedians for a second? Yes, you know, ahead. people like it when comedians go overboard and say something and it causes, you know. And then they don't like it when we trip up on ourselves. So make a decision. Here's the thing. Let Jerry the comedians alone. Everything's not a black and white. Let it's us do what we do because no, nobody does it no, the way a comedian does. You want to you do. be free to what you say. Free to free say speech. what you say. Let me free be free speech. about my objection to nobody maybe what you say. Nobody hit Miley Cyrus. I'm not saying not to say it. I'm saying if you receive some sort of resistance to what you say, and obviously Jamie handled it in a way that was appropriate. Absolutely. He said, I have a daughter too, like Sherry just said, which I think means a lot. You know, he'll probably have a conversation with Miley's dad. I think that would be a good one to me. Said things I'm on stage like and you got off. Yeah. I mean, you've gotten off stage. You, you've I'm not gotten off stage, Joy. I've seen comedians, and I won't name the person who've made anti-Semitic remarks or anti-black right. remarks, and I don't think you can just... I don't think they can. We, got mad, at, they we got mad at Don Imus. Exactly. You know, I'm a comedian. comedian. No, no, we we were, I was upset with Don Imus. I just don't Imus. think that he should apologize for saying something like, oh, she should Why be on heroin. No. She's going against the type, which is the all-American girl. That's all. But, but Joy, also, too... that's what's funny about it. But the human side of it. How great it is that Miley's such a lovely girl. He's it's got not it. funny. He has a Jamie Listen, still if someone human. said it, if someone said this about his daughter, he would probably mm -hmm. be, even if it were a comedian. Absolutely. He, he took heart to it. Like, I think what, he did Amy the would right fight thing. You if you we said have another about comedian it. here who isn't talking. Who do you think, Whoopi? You know what? <laughs> when you're a comic. You know that sometimes your material mm -hmm. is going to piss people off, yeah. and sometimes it's not. And if you can take the consequences, you can be a comic. Right. And sometimes you have to make a decision, have I gone too far for myself, which Jamie felt he did? Yeah. He made an apology. As it would be like if you said something about somebody else's daughter, or someone said something about your daughter. You, it's annoying. It clicked in his head. Okay, I put myself in, in Billy Ray's place. Okay, maybe I did I, I did go over. Sometimes we say stuff that's yes, going to piss true. people off. Well, remember, remember that the role too. of the court jester was to tell the king that he had no clothes on, that he was a, he was doing something. Make fun of the king. But not That's the, the princess. Job. But not the, but not the children the of the king. But you're not exempt. If the princess had his head cut off. Uh -uh. If the princess had his head cut off. Uh -uh. If the princess had his head cut off. Are you then? The choice you take, are so you I'll get my head cut off. Are you exempt from doing the right thing? Are you exempt from doing the right thing? Are you who aren't funny oh, to say it? All right. Listen, it's all, right. all about the consequences, yeah. which is what I'm saying. If you can take it, then you then say it. If you can't handle it, if you can't be in the kitchen, get out the fire. That's right. Well, you know what I mean.